set up your bug free zone. Okay. Well, we made it back to the cabin. It's not even eight o'clock and we're ready for bed. I'm exhausted. Got a little bit of work done, trimming up the yard, mowing down all the grass around the cabin, which was good. That was sort of just my goal today. And it just wears me out. I'm really tired. My energy's low because when I, since I've gotten sick, I've lost a lot of weight and strength. And uh, after my last trip here, I had, I had the reason I had to leave the following morning and I could only stay the one night is because I had an appointment to get scanned again for my intestinal situation and see how that's going. And after I got scanned, I got a call the next day that told me to go get emergency surgery immediately. And which obviously caused a lot of anxiety for me, but I did not do that. I insisted that I would have a consultation about this situation first and I was able to get and the day after that to have a consultation with a surgeon and that surgeon told me I do not need surgery and I was very thankful to hear that because it is the last thing I want to do. I'm still having some issues but I think that with dietary disciplines I'll call it I can I can manage it and not have to have a extremely invasive aggressive surgery 
that's that's where I'm at with that, and that's what I want to do today. I felt pretty good today. I'm um, just tired, but I was able to get out here and get this work done and be here, and so that's good. And it's a pretty nice evening. It's starting to rain very lightly right now, uh, but it's just really awesome being out here. Really enjoying it. So is Gracie. She's a little bored when I have to work, and she just kind of wants to play or go on an adventure, which is fine. I'll be sure to do that and not just work all the time point of being out here is to have fun so she's also just a good communicator she lets me know when she's thirsty and needs some water or she's sick of the bugs and wants to come in the bug free zone we've been doing this for a while so pretty pretty in tune with each other tomorrow I think Cooper is coming to meet up with me maybe Kaylee's coming with him I'm not sure and we're just going to try to get some work done I think on the road assess the bridge we might be able to go get some materials for the bridge from his grandfather's sawmill so that would be cool or we might just goof off and go have fun I, I don't know either way doesn't really matter to me uh, I'm here for a few days so I'm sure I'll get a lot done no matter what and that's what we got going on so we'll see you in the morning
We didn't grace it. Yeah. While the porch is good and rotten. Sort of expected that though. Going to try to rip off all of that mill fabric skirting around the cabin. That might help get some air going in there. The more air the better. And I've got a pile where I'm just starting to pile up all the junk and, junk and garbage materials that need to be removed. Eventually I'll get a trailer in here and haul all of that stuff out but I'm going to once I get that ripped off I'm gonna head up the road try to get where I can make a call see where Cooper's at um, so I can meet up with him and we can figure out the bridge and stuff today not sure where he's at Well, it's starting to rain a little bit, and I'm really wondering where Cooper's at, so I'm um, gonna pack some things up, get them covered up from the rain, 
and go figure out what Cooper's doing. Well, I'm about to head out to meet up with Cooper, but I kind of got things organized here. I was preparing for rain and then the sun came out and it's kind of nice, but this is what I have. This is the way I have camp set up right now. And it's nice to be getting organized and kind of figuring out my systems while I work on this project. But this is what I have for outdoor kitchen, makeshift table out of this old metal cage. And that's working out nicely. I'll probably string up a tarp later on. I threw up the hammock shelf there over here. I gotta, this is just thrown up quickly. I gotta get it tuned up later for me and Gracie. I moved it because it was too close to the fire and the concrete fireplace didn't survive. I knew it wouldn't. It was all cracked and falling apart anyway. Um, so I was gonna take it apart anyway, but it fell over, which is fine because it's easier to burn up this brush and rotten wood and things like that. And found this chair in the old outhouse slash shed. It's actually quite nice. I don't know the history of this cabin at all, but there's some interesting things. Just the, the what's interesting is the way it was constructed and wired with that generator and the propane uh, wall mounted heater and everything just things like this stone patio this was a lot of work i i like it it's a great fire place fire pit area but i i i found some mre trash and that and just the character of this building and other things that i found makes me think that this guy whoever was the owner before me who i never met was probably a military background <clears throat> be funny to find out i think he's from pennsylvania there's been some indications of pennsylvania like the outhouse was made in pennsylvania there were some newspapers from pennsylvania and some other things so i don't know it's pretty interesting obviously i'm starting to rip off that mill fabric and there's some raw on the the porch here which is fine I'm going to replace that anyway you see the foundation is just this simple cinder block set on top of the ground which worked fine for however long the cabin has lasted this at this point but i'm going to replace all of these cinder blocks with concrete footings and vertical posts with adjustable bases and that will give me the ability to manipulate this to keep it level in the future i'm also thinking this is the south side and i'd really like to have like a farmer style screened in porch here with maybe a sliding glass door entering the cabin that would that would be an awesome space facing kind of the fire pit area and you'd still be able to see down to the river and i just obviously i got to get permitting and stuff to do that just to plan for it it wouldn't be this year but i want to make sure that i can get that pitch in that that porch roof and still be able to install skylights um gotta figure out some math and see if i can make that work i don't want the roof to be get to get too flat and then worry about snow load but it is going to be a metal roof so shane's coming later on and He's going to help me figure out some of this stuff. I am ripping this back bathroom off. It's, I'm not a fan. I don't like it. I don't, the septic, I don't even want to explain it, but it's uh, a problem. And I want windows on this, this backside facing the river because I think in the fall, when the f foliage comes down, there's going to be a nice view of the river. And I just want that eastern daylight coming in so there's there's that's the only window really on this back side of the cabin it's super dark so i'm gonna have at least two more windows here and i am going to replace all of the windows all around the cabin <clears throat> 
But we're getting there. Got the yard trimmed up, been raking. Um, it's just a slow process. Like I said, I don't have a lot of energy. I'm already worn out. I don't know what time it is. I haven't really done, done much today, but I'm very, very slow. And that's okay, because I'm not in a hurry. And I am just going to take my time and uh, and and not rush anything. So I, I everything that I'm doing here, it's it's... It's like instant gratification because everything is a dramatic improvement. Just ripping the mill fabric off. I mean, that wasn't really any much work, but it already looks like an amazing transformation, you know, and just raking and things like that. So um, it's awesome. I'm, I'm Obviously, there's more challenges than I maybe realized initially with, you know, finding rotten things but it's not a big deal this is all this is all stuff i wanted to do and so it's just really awesome being out here and i can't wait to just share this with some people get some friends out here and it'll be a lot of fun hey man what's up coop what's going on hey Oh, not much. You, How are you? I just got, well, I was wondering where you're at, and I just got your text. I just had oh, to, yeah. I had to, I had to head down back out the road, head back out the road to get service, and, uh, because I was wondering where you were, and then uh, I got your text. Are you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm just feeling like, like garbage today. I, I still think it's best if I go and, like, do stuff. Might as well get ahead of it and try to, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's no problem. Do what you gotta do. Take care of yourself, and and uh, when you feel better, come on out. 